Hey, what's going on? This is the second time I've made a really fun video like this because the first time it went over really well and people enjoyed it. So I'm going to be showing you in a somewhat funny but somewhat serious way how to avoid the spam folder. And the way I'm going to do this is by showing you the inside of my spam folder, which is what I'm looking at. I'm going to show you exactly what not to do if you want to avoid spam. So uh, we'll just start at the top here, very first one. And most of these are cold emails, keep in mind. Um, so if you do any of that, this is extra beneficial. But anyway, the first thing here, exciting news in Fast Company Executive Board. I have no idea what that is. I don't think anybody knows what that is. So that's why I didn't open it. But let's open it and have some fun. So Fast Company Exec Board. The first thing is you want to be relatable to somebody, right? Like if I don't have a clue what you're talking about, you're going to have to somehow explain what the benefit is to me, right? So like the formula for a subject line is curiosity and benefit. Like they have maybe a slight bit of curiosity because I don't know what it is, but there's no benefit. So why would I open this? And another thing is he assumes that I read or saw the, the last email he sent me, but it's ending up in spam. So clearly I didn't. Third thing is, come on, man. It's like we've got an online platform that allows you to make connections, publish on this website and share your ideas. That is the vaguest thing that I've ever heard. Uh, another thing too, curious to know more. Let's schedule a quick call. First, First of all, if you're a busy business owner receiving this email, you probably don't have time to get on a call with strangers. Secondly, he doesn't really have a link anywhere to schedule a call. Just like hit reply and let me know what time is good for you. If you're going to take this approach, you either go for the reply and ask them a simple question such as like, okay, well, I mean, he has no like specific benefits here, but if he did, um, the best thing to do would be like, hey, um, what is the number one problem you're struggling with? What is one question you have about what I wrote? Something like that. Instead, there's not even a link either, so I don't think anybody is going to reply to this. Maybe this is the link, but that's really confusing and doesn't make sense because it says there's a committee involved. All right, next one. PR distribution that sounds spammy on its own because it doesn't have a specific person or company that we're sending from. Um, unless that's an actual organization, I have no idea. Yeah, it sounds very vague again. Epic Games versus Apple press releases with many payment choices. Really have no clue what that's talking about. Uh, believe me, I've worked in this niche before for legitimate clients. And once again here with the bullet points, it's like increase your sales, boost your authority. Like who doesn't say that? Like say something interesting, like increase your sales with the new XYZ method that, you know, and then list off like a few credible people who are using it, right? Then it's way more curious. Or like boost your authority by tapping into the PR jet stream or like the Instagram jet stream or something like that where it's like curious and there's a benefit, right? Like we talked about earlier. So same thing here. We break down these benefits here. I'd rather have you break it down and then call me to an action, right? And it's really odd too. It's like, why are they telling me about a lawsuit with Apple and telling me to get press? I just don't see the congruency there. These are both media ones. So we'll go here and... Let's see, it's time to get globally recognized for your contribution. Okay, so this is another like spammy one. A lot of you probably get this in your inbox from time to time. It's like some kind of weird, like, oh, here's a global reward. And it's like, I, I think I'm pretty good at marketing. Like I have a multi seven figure business, but when you tell me I'm gonna get globally recognized, I frankly just don't believe that, especially since you're probably the 20th person I've seen in my lifetime that has told me this. So that's another thing. Don't take swipes from other people and not modify them, right? Like you can get inspiration from other people's swipes, but don't just copy and paste them into the email. And also don't try to like buddy up with me. Like, I hope your day started on a good note. It's like, dude, I have no idea who you are. And honestly, his name's probably not Larry. He's probably a spammer somewhere out there. Who knows? Nor do I really understand what, like there's no specifics about what this is like what kind of organization this is. It's like, oh, there's some like weird event that you tried to explain in like two sentences before you told me about it. Yeah, a little odd. Uh, another really good one that you're going to have to kind of keep in mind for yourself is there's this one down here called Noble Crust. Now this is actually a local restaurant here in Tampa, Florida. And the reason they end up in my spam folder is because I put them there. Now, why would I be mean and do that? Because the last time that I tried to unsubscribe. Let's see if it's the same way. Okay, well, that's really sketchy, so I guess I'm not gonna click that. Yeah, they need to fix something with their website or DNS settings because it's sketchy. But um, I do remember there's a couple local restaurants and like local businesses, and honestly, any kind of business, uh, a lot of people make this mistake because they make it hard to unsubscribe. So I click the button and it like asks me, and I'm, a lot of times I do this on my phone, 
and you know, like all the emails combined together and you can't tell like which email that you subscribed with and you click on subscribe there and it's like, which email would you like to unsubscribe with? I'm like, I don't remember. Like when I click unsubscribe, it should unsubscribe me because I don't want to take the time to go back and look which email I subscribed with and never, ever, ever expect your subscribers to do that. So if they click unsubscribe, just let them go. They, they don't want to be here, right? Um, but I do have a product called the Unsub Secret. If you go to theunsubsecret.com, I show you how to sell your sawdust. So when somebody unsubscribes, you can actually give them an option. I'm not going to give away too much more, but go to the uh, unsubsecret.com. It's compliant totally, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, let's see what else we've got going on. We'll pick one more lucky contestant. Boom of sales. Uh, so we're in all caps here. Advertise up to 200 million emails. Frankly, I do not believe that. If you told me maybe like... 200,000 and be like, okay, that sounds believable. Also trying to take me off of WhatsApp, a little bit sketchy. Once again, we've got some bullet points. A lot of people try to do this, but uh, none of this really seems unique other than the number here. But yeah, anytime you list out pricing like that without giving me a ton of benefit, it looks a little sketchy. Anyway, this is episode two of how not to send emails and primarily how to avoid the spam folder. If now obviously this is only one part of it, right? Like this is the copy side, like being smart and thinking with people and showing them the benefit and involving curiosity. But if you want to know the other side to not having your emails land in spam or the Gmail promo tab, click the link below this video and read the entire report that I put together about it. And if you so choose, and if it makes sense to you, there's a call calendar below that where you can book a call with my team. We'll test your emails and tell you exactly where they're landing. Hopefully not in promo or spam, but a lot of people are and they don't know it yet. So we'll get you out. So read that report. If it makes sense to you, book your call and we'll run a completely free test for you on Zoom with you so you can see everything. So have a good one and thanks for watching.